We have problems and tragedies inside this 125 gallon aquarium. But before we talk about this 125 gallon aquarium, we have to cover something else. What led us to the decisions that were made inside that 125 gallon aquarium. This is the 75 gallon discus aquarium. If you watched my last video, we added two new discus to this tank. We added these two guys right over here. These two discus have actually been spawning inside this tank as well. You can see some eggs on the piece of wood over there. Complete side note. But in this aquarium, we did actually have red tail hemiodoas inside here. We actually moved them to my 125. And the reason why is because we wanted to make a little bit more space in here so we can highlight the nice discus in here. Um, who have been actually doing really awesome inside this aquarium. But once we added the red tail hemiodoas, which the only one we actually have left inside this aquarium is right here. Once we added this fish inside, well, the nine of them inside this aquarium, I've noticed some issues. Uh, I also did add these red tail barracuda inside this aquarium, and they were actually schooling with the red tail hemiodoas. Uh, the reason why is because they're actually both tetras, technically. So what happened was, is I kind of saw some of these red tail hemiodoas. They were kind of looking a little bit stressed out, um, a little bit banged up maybe, and I figured, eh, you know, it's a little bit of territory wars. You know, barracuda have big teeth, things like that. Probably just big gash marks. So I lost one, uh, then I lost two, and then I lost three, and I said, something's going on inside this tank. And I noticed some of the other issues happening inside here with some other fish, and they had spots on them. And right then, there you say to yourself, okay, you got ick. But it wasn't ick. I did, this tank did not have ick, it actually had velvet. I'm going to be coming out with a video saying what is velvet, why is it inside your aquarium, and how to treat it. It is not like ick, it's very different. It still is like, you know, the white spots on your fish, but it's very different from velvet. Uh, it's my actually my third time ever getting velvet, and it's definitely becoming a lot more common in the hobby. It's very, very similar to ick, but it is not ick, trust me. <laughs> Uh, I lost a lot of fish inside this aquarium, guys. I'll put up on the screen here all the fish that we did lose that were inside this tank. Devastating, devastating, devastating. You know, I did add these red tail barracuda. I can assure you it actually was not these guys that gave me the velvet. Uh, these guys looked really great the entire time. They, didn't, they barely got any spots, actually. Uh, some of them did a little bit here and there, but uh, realistically, they were all fine. The red tail hemidoas were the ones that really, really got killed a lot by it. Um, only down to one left. I actually did a little bit of research on them when I first got them, and it said they're the most stressed out <laughs> like tetras you could get. Uh, they're very well known to be jumpers once they get them into an aquarium. And once they're kind of settled into a tank, they're fine. They're not really jumpers. They're not really super stressed. I think maybe it was a combination of stress uh, from the move, and, you know, the, the temperature difference potentially also from the discus tank to this tank. This tank was, uh, I think it was about 78 degrees. It was 74 in the discus tank. I think a lot of different factors kind of went into the stress aspect of the red tail hemidoas. You might be saying to yourself, well, what does this mean? What, what's going to happen to this aquarium? This aquarium's really been my miscellaneous quote unquote tank for a little bit. And it's kind of gotten me like a little bit, I don't know, bored. Uh, for a big footprint, you know, this is my second biggest aquarium, you know, aquarium in this fish room. Uh, the biggest obviously being that big 220 over there. Uh, but I think we're going to change this aquarium completely. I really think you guys are going to really enjoy what we're going to do because we're going to do a massive overhaul inside this aquarium. I don't think there's going to be a single fish in here that stays. Uh, we're not going to rehome or get rid of any fish, uh, but we're definitely going to do a massive overhaul from fish to layout to everything. It's gonna be completely different of an aquarium. I know it's kind of wacky saying, I hope you guys did enjoy this video since we did deliver some bad news about this aquarium, uh, but that's also part of the hobby. No matter how beginner level you are or advanced you are, we all go through this. We all have these issues that come up inside of our aquariums and it's how we kind of get over that hump that kind of makes us, uh, you know, the aquarium hobbyists. Always get over the hump. Don't lose, you know, interest just because a couple of bad things might have happened. So be sure you're subscribed to this channel so you do not miss what I plan on doing to this aquarium over here.